a host of rare plant species here, and one of them is the flytrap. So we've been working to benefit those plants, essentially. There's a few others here, but I guess the reason that we're really here today is that um, just in the last few years, we've grown more and more concerned about the fly trap, and we've known for a long time about poaching. Many of you are aware of that, that um, there's still legal sales of live fly traps in the state, and many people want them for various reasons. And so there are people uh, legally and illegally who go out and find fly traps when they're in flower, which is the easiest time to find them, and then dig them up. He's mowed down a little bit of this stuff back in there. What we'd like to do is take, take these, take them back get off, get them off the road so that yeah. they're not so prone to all this. Right. They're similar to that, that back out there. Mm -hmm. Some of the same. You know, we got the yellow-eyed grass and the candy roots and some of that other stuff. Yeah, right, uh, instead of putting it somewhere like this. Did Laura point out, or you can see how this, at least relative to what you see up here, we're obviously seeing a little swale here. Mm -hmm. And if you can tell, it's a little bit moister. And so when we get back in there, if you've got enough seed, what we want to do is not just put them in the random driest area. We want to kind of find a couple of wet pockets them. in there where you'll see like little swales, like almost little old puddles where there's some dried up spag a little bit further than that. And they are hard as heck to spot. And got a good I, background, like, like sure, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. No, it's good. Yeah. I thought I saw some. Let's see about this one. Almost looks like a little raspberry. Bury them because the seeds are so tiny. Okay. A seed that tiny, you sh shouldn't really be deep underground. Mm -hmm. You know. I think it's just a matter of um, getting it to the bare mineral soil, so it's at least on the soil and not just up in the vegetation. Mm -hmm. Hopefully next year when you come back. Maybe we'll see some plants here. Well, we went down to see if we could collect seeds from the Venus flytraps and then distribute them in the natural habitat to, in hopes that they might propagate. And I want to do it because I've never done it before. <laughs> it was there. The Venus flytrap is such an incredibly unique plant that I really wanted to see it in, in, in its natural environment. I'd never seen that before. I feel like with the growing human population, if we don't make an effort to preserve, that there will be nothing left to preserve. That's the bottom line.